All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Grisson Regard MC. This is actually a second look. We did a uh, slight review on this when I first got it. Now I got a thousand rounds through it. We're going to do another review, and I'll show you guys how the gold finish has held up and the uh, minor issues that I had with it. And the issues that I had were very minor. Uh, well, kind of. As far as uh, shooting it, the only issues I had were ammo related. I used some old reloads that I had for some of it, and they were very weak, and they were stove piping just a little bit. Maybe three or four of those total, but I know it was the ammo because I shot some uh, factory stuff, and I shot some uh, hotter rounds through it, and didn't have that issue at all. So I know it's the it's ammo related. It has nothing to do with the gun or the magazine. And uh, here on the decocker, I don't know how well that's going to pick that up, but there's a pin that holds that decocker on. After I ran about 600 rounds through it, I noticed that was loose and it almost fell out on me. I tapped it back in, and the other day after I finished shooting the other, the rest of the 1,000 rounds to get it, uh, get the round count up, I noticed it was sticking out again. So I'm going to tap that back in, and I might stake it, because I know some of the Berettas are staked. But that's just a roll pin that's hammered in there, and we'll just hammer it back. Like I said, I'll try to stake it. But I have been thoroughly impressed with this. It has ran great. It shoots really good. It shoots to point of aim. And for the money, you can't beat it. This gun, I gave 550 for it because it is gold. You can get the standard regard a lot cheap, a lot cheaper. But we'll go ahead and pull it apart, and I'll show you what the uh, where it looks like on the inside, which was very, very minimal. I was honestly expecting this to be pretty wore out, you know, as far as the finish. I thought the gold was going to come off of it, and it did not at all. Like, even around the muzzle, you can see that it has held up good. I thought the muzzle would be, you know, kind of blackened and stained, but it's not. And this gun is unloaded, and it's safe. I'm not leaving a loaded gun around. We'll go ahead and pull her apart. I did clean this three times. Uh, first time I shot it, I shot 136 rounds and uh, brought it home, cleaned it, oiled it. And then I shot uh, another, I believe, 552. And then after that, I shot the rest of the, I believe it was 312 I had to shoot to make the 1,000 rounds. But I did clean it in between each time I shot it. I wasn't trying to do a torture test on it. I wanted to see how well the finish was going to hold up. I wasn't. I didn't really want to make the wear even worse. I just wanted to see how a thousand rounds would look on it. Now, got the barrel here. Go ahead and pop it apart. Take this block out of it. It's kind of a pain. Uh, the bottom of it is stained where it rides on the frame on the inside. Uh, the barrel itself has minimal markings on it. It's really hard for that to pick up. But you can see just minor uh, marks where it's kind of scratched. But the gold is still all there. The only place that the gold is uh, kind of gone is right there where the feed ramp is. And right here where the uh, ejector, or extractor, sorry, the extractor grabs a hold of it. It's got a spot there where it's kind of shiny. The inside of the slide looks pretty good. It's got minimal wear on it. Uh, in here, on the rails, the inside here has got some wear on it, but it's not bad. Like I say, it's not bad at all. I was really expecting this to be pretty beat up after a thousand rounds. I thought the finish was going to be soft and not hold up. They did a hell of a job on this finish. Now, down in uh, side of here, where that barrel rides, you can see that the finish is almost gone. Like the gold is gone out of there, but you don't see that when the gun's together. When it's you know all together, it's still everything on it still looks shiny gold. Yeah, it's got a mark here on the back where the gold has gone off of it. Inside the frame right here, you can see some shiny spots where the gold finish is uh, kind of has wore down. But again, for a thousand rounds through this, I was expecting this to be a lot a lot worse, and I'm. Thoroughly really impressed with this gun. Yeah, you can you can see right there a little better where that wear is on the inside. It's the goal is the finish is kind of gone off of it. But like I say, you don't see any of the wear when the gun is together. And I'm not gonna lie, I bought this gun as a meme. 
I thought it was hilarious. I was like, man, I ain't got a gold, a gold gun. I think it'd be funny to have a gold gun. And I didn't take the gun serious until I took it out and shot it. And this thing shoots phenomenally. It's a great, it's a good shooting gun. I've really had bad luck with clones. Um, had bad luck with Canik. And a lot of people are like, no, there's no way you can have bad luck with Canik. I have, I got a bad one, trust me. Um, and just some other clone guns I've had issues with. But this is the first clone gun that's actually like thoroughly impressed me. I would totally buy another one of these just as a range toy. Yeah, there's a, there's a nice spot right there. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick that up. But you can see a line right here on the barrel where it rides on the uh, frame or where the slide rides on it. And like I say, it's not bad. The finish isn't wore through to the uh, bare metal. It's still, the whole gun is still gold. Like, it's impressively gold. And I will say that this gun being gold is extremely easy to clean up. I just sprayed a little bit of spray on it and was able to wipe it off. Like, I didn't even, didn't even have to really scrub it because that gold finish just slicks it right off there. I told my wife, I was like, I might gold, fin might gold plate all my guns. Yeah, she didn't like that idea. But we'll put her back together here real quick. I mean, when I trust this more than my Beretta 92, my M984, or my Glock 19, or 21, or whatever Glock's other guns I got that I really trust, I would. I honestly would. The way this thing ran, and as flawless as it was, I mean, like I say, I had maybe three or four stove pipes, and I know it was ammo related. So, yeah, this is... To me, a thousand rounds, a lot of people are like, oh, you got to put 5,000 rounds to a gun to see if it's actually going to work. A lot of people buy a gun and never put more than a box or two of ammo through it and have it forever. I mean, to me, a thousand rounds is a pretty good test. I mean, it's this <laughs> the finish, as you can see, is still great. But if you got a Gerson, man, go, uh, keep it, make sure you keep an eye on that roll pin. I'm not sure if they all do it or if it was just a fluke on this one. Maybe the hole was a little extra, uh, a little larger than it should have been. And the roll pin kind of worked its way out after, like I said, the first time was almost 700 rounds when I noticed it the first time. And it almost came out. Like it was, I had to turn the safety to get it to line back up. And it hasn't came out that far this time. But that was 312 rounds. Uh, knocked it back out that far. Which, like I say again, you can just barely see it sticking up there. It's supposed to be down inside the decocker, which is a safety decocker. And if you don't know the difference between a safety and a safety decocker, this gun has a safety, and it's a decocker. So if your hammer's back, and you want to drop the hammer on a live round, you flip that down, which is ambidextrous. It's got it on both sides. And when you do that, the safety... And the decocker stays down and that kills the trigger so you end up with a dead trigger if you flip it back off you can pull the trigger and have a, another uh, double action pull but as long as that decocker is down in the safe position it kills your trigger now like the Breda m9 is a decocker only so when i flip that down it bounces back up and it does not kill the trigger that's the biggest difference between a safety decocker and a, just a standard decocker. Yeah, I bought this, and then I had it for a little bit, and I'm like, man, I really like that Beretta, how it feels. So I bought the M9A4. And I think I have maybe 200 rounds to the M9A4, and it has more wear on it already than this does. Like the bottom of the slide right here on the M9A4 is the flat dark earth finish has gone off it already. But this one, as you can see, does not ride on the frame. It doesn't touch the frame, so I think that's helping save the finish on that. Now the grips on these do leave a lot to be desired. They're not the best texture. You could probably change them out with something else. But then again, I'm not sure too many people that would actually carry a gold gun for self-defense because that's like super flashy, unless you're like a drug dealer or a, you know Saddam Hussein or something like that. But I may eventually get a flashlight gold-plated just for this gun, just because it has a reel, and I think that would look really slick to have a gold-plated flashlight on a gold-plated gun. So, you might want to subscribe and check or check back to see if I actually do that, because I think it'd be pretty slick. But yeah, we're going to keep shooting this. We're not going to 
do like another, I'm not going to do a 5,000 round test on it. I don't want to use that many rounds on this gun because now I just want to, you know, pleasurely shoot it just kind of in my leisure whenever I feel like shooting a gold gun. Yeah, but I do want to take a minute to thank you guys that have been watching this channel and have subscribed. Uh, I'm really appreciative of you guys and uh, we're going to keep up putting the videos out. We're going to, we got some more planned for the summer. We got a lot of stuff planned for the summer. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe and let's take back our Second Amendment.